whatever you want. But yeah. see, really, wearing a mask protects you more from protects others more than it protects you. Hey, Biz, loving the thumbnail for last night's episode. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I uh, I'm gonna try to start doing that again. Only for the good ones, actually. Yeah. Nah, I, don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, the well, best that, highlights. Yeah. yeah. Can't say that. You got we got to fool the audience into watching all the back episodes. <laughs> They're all good ones. Yeah. I yeah. want like a top ten review episode. Yeah, mm. I mean, I've been, I just haven't had the time to edit something together. But I've, yeah, Jim, I've been thinking of it. I've been thinking of it. Jim, did you get new glasses? No. Okay. Why they look? Oh, they look right? good. They look good. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, you want to show off your new cam? Oh this yeah, one. The, the, yeah. yeah. Ooh. My new kombucha cans with labels. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Eight ounce, two hundred fifty milliliter. Available soon. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, soon. soon, somewhere. Can you mail order kombucha or is it like perishable? I don't know. Because it, it's technically with the alcohol, even though it's low. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Weird zone. That is weird. Uh, I'm trying to. Mm -hmm. to the weird zone. Uh, I got a prompt. Yeah. All right. Uh, you are Constance Chudwell. You own a bakery that specializes in naughty themed cakes. Huh. One day you get a big order from Hustler Magazine to make the biggest cake in the world for eight Larry Flint's 80th birthday. Oh, wow. Is request, he still alive? He is still alive. And he's younger wow. than 80. So. Is he really? Really? Wow. Yeah. He's like late 70s, I think. Wow, I thought he was way older. Uh, the requested design... Is a mountain of tits, each one modeled off of a cover model's breasts. <laughs> Prompt you came up with? Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> very, very, uh, very Randy. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the prompt C. Yeah, that's a good one, Bash. Uh. <laughs> that's like, that's kind of prompt the AI does. Yeah. This We're gonna be... somehow make this into a wholesome me show. Yeah, just oh, be yeah. watch and see. A beautiful story arc. Uh -oh. Yes, oh, and, and in uh, uh, in England, Fanny means vagina. No, Fanny me. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it does. Uh, pants means underwear. What? It does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wholesome cake. The process goes off relatively smoothly. If you had to guess, the only problems would come from the fact that a few people involved are prudes or Christians. Unfortunately, as luck would have it, you get both. Oh my god, prude, prude Christians! The worst combination. We are a Christian erotic bakery, sir. Mm. We cannot do this. <laughs> I'm going to say protesters gather outside your bakery. Okay. That's always a problem in every situation. Yeah. They call you obscene. They scream about the immorality of your bakery. Wow. They yeah. also scream about how this is all your fault for moving to the neighborhood in the first mm -hmm. place. Yep. You've dealt with protesters before, but this time it's worse. These people are organized, and they aren't going away anytime soon. Wow. This is really setting up a villain early on here. The town hates Ooh. us. Or, well, Who's these the Christians villain? particular. This group us? of prude Christians. Oh. But they think we're the villain. Yeah, yeah but exactly. they're the villain. Society is the villain. My kids pass by this bakery every morning. <clears throat> I have to explain I'm... to them that's a rocket ship, and those are Grand Canyon monuments. Mm. I'm going to say you take the dispute. All the way to the Supreme Court. Yes, it's time to take a stance. This is our our stand. We're not backing down. The bakery's gonna burn down. You are Constance Chadwell. You own a bakery uh, that specializes uh, in naughty cakes. One day you get a big order from Hustler Magazine to make the biggest Hustle. cake in the world for Larry <laughs> Flynn's Sadie's birthday. The requested design is a mountain of tits, each one modeled off of a cover model's breasts. We know, AI. That's exactly what I typed. Yeah. Why did it say it again like that? It's a great question. 
Hmm. Uh, Did you cast this shed will bake this cake? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you take the stand and uh, the prosecutor grills you with questions mm. about your bakery. Wait till we get done with you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> You'll be making flat earth cakes by the time I'm done with you. Is that how Supreme Court cases work? There's a prosecutor? I don't know. No, there's not. Oh, okay. Is it true hey, that pizza. you are trying to cause moral corruption and spread sin through the world? No, I'm a baker. I'm not <laughs> spreading anything. You answer angry. Mm. Zing! Oh, that, is a, that is a great... No, I'm not. <laughs> Just spreading frosting. <laughs> spreading frosting <laughs> all over these... About to spread you. these cheeks, yeah. 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 Me, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you admit, uh, Miss Constance Chudwell, that oh, uh, I'm I'm gonna you say you wouldn't want to the... see me having sex in the middle of the street, would you? Mm. It's about okay. I get it. What you got, Jim? What you, what you got? What you, what you, what, what you got? Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm gonna say. Oh, this ass. is the, this is the Supreme Court biz. Washington D.C., the heart of the nation. Yeah. And I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> I think we need a Tony compilation of singing Proud to be an American. I feel like that's I, I, I unironically love that song. Yeah. <laughs> Tony cries whenever he sees a flag. Uh, yeah. yeah, I do. Okay, I'm going to say the prosecutor presents a cake to the court that is a cock placed between two ass cheeks <laughs> and asks Constance Chudwell, did you bake this cake? There you go. Oh, okay. Perfect. <laughs> Oh boy. Yes. Do you see the phallus shaped cake presented to this honorable court of nine justices? Yes. Mm. Did you once refer to this cake as an obscene monster that should not be allowed in our society? I mean, there was a joke though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How'd you hear that? Who told you? Okay, how about you? It's a living. <laughs> yeah, I'm constantly told that. Well, yeah, it's a living. <laughs> My internet is bad. <laughs> is it? Move your head, Jim, so we can see how it was picked like jerky. Oh, it's completely frozen. Oh, wow, yeah, you're really frozen. Oh, mine just like, uh, let me move my head now. Okay, now you're back, Jim. Anyway, uh, I'll say... I'm, you... Yeah, I'm back. Okay. Okay, okay. cool. Uh, did you have something, or...? Oh, no, he's gone again. Cake no, is an gone. obscene monster. Yeah. Doesn't have free American yeah, have freedom of speech. and whipped cream and stuff. Yeah, you know, Misha, you'd be surprised at how often people try to... Uh, yeah, there's arguments that. about... There's arguments about it all the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jim's internet did get excited about dick cake. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, what about what about oh, cake yeah. in a can? Like you just pop the top off and like a whole like piece of frosted piece of cake slides out. Nah. Mmm. Mm, yum nah. yum yum. <laughs> One of those things where you put like uh, a mix in a coffee mug and put it in the microwave and it turns into a cake. Now that yeah, uh, but I can that get seems that seems disappointing. <laughs> it's more gross. disappointing than a a can. <laughs> <laughs> sealed I'm just imagining being able to take the cake and not it doesn't get crushed under anything. You can just like you know, it's like storage. Okay. I like that idea, Biz. That'll be the slogan. It's like uh, Ben and Jerry's, but it's just my forehead, <laughs> my oh, eyebrow. That'd be great. <laughs> 
Okay, you you reveal a special cake to the judges. It is the cake depicts an American eagle. Okay. Let's see, American eagle uh, grasping. Oh, a penis in its talons. Perfect. Oh. Yeah, I'm proud to be an American. Mm -hmm. Oh, ice cream, astronaut also, ice cream yes. is the worst. You answer with a smirk. The whole courtroom begins to laugh. The prosecutor tries to keep a straight face and scowls at you, but he is having trouble keeping his <laughs> composure. He tries to continue grilling you, but is unable to. The judge tells him to sit down. That's great. Even the, the judges on our our side is awesome. We shook him. We he's like I, I, I oh ooh, wow that's very detailed. That looks exactly like that's so realistic. And it, it's made of cake. Yeah. <laughs> One of the judges is like I have a birthday soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's getting ideas. This is the best <laughs> thing that's happened to our business. This sounds like Supreme that'd, Judge Judy. Yeah, that'd be so great. Like, uh, if you like made the prosecutor laugh and it just totally derails his case because he can't stop laughing. Yeah, that'd <laughs> yeah. be a dream. <laughs> the icing on the veins of that cupcake. Yeah, Misha, I'm with you all the way. I, well, I've told the story before, but I wanted ice, uh, astronaut ice cream since I was a little kid, and then I finally got a chance to eat it, and it was really bad. It the like hurt my stuff teeth. That they sell at the mall. No, oh, no, yeah. it's like freeze dried ice cream. It's yeah. gross. At the Michigan oh, Science yeah. Center, I remember going and seeing it, and I like had to convince. I was like, "Please let me buy this." And they're like, "All right." And I ate it. And I was like, huh, "Nah, not for me." Yeah. <laughs> See, I had that same argument with my parents, and they were like, "No, nah, we're not buying it." And they were right, as as they often are. Thanks, Misha. I mean, I should be on Broadway in the audience. That's about it. Oh, there you go. Trust I'm me, gonna say you singers. you wink at the judge, mm. or maybe you give the judge a knowing wink. Okay. okay. Yeah. Be like, hey, you're getting a kick on your birthday. Yeah. Objection. Conflict of interest. <laughs> Oh, Bash, what a Sir mix -a -Lot reference. There is a Actually, musical. Look at you yeah. So you think this is all a joke to you? No, oh. but I oh. think it is obvious that I am not to blame here. The Incusant can clearly see that it is the protesters who are spreading <laughs> the <laughs> not me. Incusant? What the? the, the is that a word? Is it... No, it's not. They're trying to say innocent. No, but it's spelled Incusant. Yeah, I know. This it's weird. The dragon makes uh more, way more spelling mistakes than uh Griffin. Yeah. It's just like I us. declare oh. the incusent. Incusent. <laughs> this is like a I feel like this is like a legitimate court case, like a real Yeah, I know. I feel like it's something that you actually see. Uh okay, I'll say uh for story. The judges retreat. I like to think their... our lawyer is like, um, what's his name from the TV show? The old guy, Matt Andy, Locke. Andy, oh. Andy, yeah, Andy <laughs> Griffith. Uh, the judges retreat uh, to their chambers to make a decision. Okay. Your lawyer, Andy Griffith, uh, tells you. Ben Matlock. You tells you that you have a 50% chance oh. of winning. Wow. Mm. The judges retreat to their chambers to make a decision. Your lawyer, Andy Griffith, tells you oh. that you have a 50% chance of winning. Uh, I'll try again. Just say the judges retreat to their chambers to make a decision then. Oh, I want Andy Griffith. Okay, uh, go for it. Wow, Doug Llewellyn, what a reference, Bash. That was People's Court. Judge Wapner is like... Yeah, we'll leave it in the hands of the AI. You uh, wait for their decision and hope that you haven't made things worse. Uh-oh. 
the suspense. It's ping ponging the suspense. Um. Okay, I got something. Okay. Can we get a whoopee with this ending? <laughs> <laughs> if you have sex with a cake, does that count as a whoopee? Nah. Oh, okay. Unless that cake is sentient. <laughs> <laughs> but then that brings in a whole thing of consent, you know? Yeah. Does the cake have the cake has to consent to sex? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Complicates things. But that's may that's I, the world may of whoopies. Yeah. May I frost you? Mm. <laughs> Permission denied. Why is it is a robot cake? It's sent you. Yeah, I imagine it's a robot yeah. cake. Insert frosting. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh as a cake, I have many layers. <laughs> okay. Emotionally so as, and physically. As the judges return to the courtroom to declare their decision, the doors fly open and Larry Flint himself wheels into the courtroom. He's back. He, de oh. he declares uh to be heard. Yes. He demands to be heard. Yes, yes. I like yes, it. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's great. Let's just hope the ad lug likes it. The end. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to predict. Don't the jinx it! Try to take him away, but he shrugs them off and points to his bodyguard laying dead in the doorway. What? what? Are you fucking kidding me? You're going to arrest me for littering? The judge has no choice but to listen to him. Okay, and there's a kill? You littered a dead body right there. Come on. Yeah. That's kind of callous, man. The, I bet the bodyguard was with him for a long time. Uh, we need more Oprah. I'm, I'm working on it, mate, uh, Misha. Yeah. I made good strides today on my, uh, oh, yeah? my contract dealings with Oprah. So. She will be back soon, sooner than later. Uh, okay. Uh, should we just next this and see what Larry Flint? I, I hope yeah, he go says for something. It. Please, Larry, give us your speech. Come on, Larry. Speech. 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 He declares that as a publisher, he should have the freedom to publish whatever he wants. <laughs> He goes mm. on to say that the protesters should not be oh. able to shut down his business and that you are not responsible for his publishings. Oh. Okay, I feel, oh. Like, I feel like Larry Flint's really trying to, uh, you know, push his issues, and he's not really worried about us. And he's like, oh, yeah, and also she's innocent. <laughs> oh, you know what? Okay. Uh, are we publishing cakes? Yeah, yeah. that's what I think. So, okay, I'm going to say oh, the yeah. judges... The judges rule that Overrule. the cake is a publication <laughs> and thus is protected under free speech laws. Sweet. Please put the dead body in the comments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The protesters are long to interfere with your ability to work. They are all oh. five years in prison. Well, that's the odd. press has a field day with this one, and the moral majority loses a lot of support. You have saved the adult industry, and Larry Flint is forever in your debt. Yeah! Wow. Now that's really an wholesome. ending. Is that a wholesome? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. Mm hmm. Uh, also, it's, it's... uh,. What's Larry Flint's speech about? Well, he, it was mainly about his magazine. Yeah, about how he has the right to publish whatever he wants. Yeah, the, 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 the people are speaking. They say wholesome with loud tones. Seeing a lot of caps. We've saved the adult industry. Mm -hmm. uh, Jim, you got a prompt? I do. All right, let's switch to story two here. Story two. Story so, two, activating. Did you mark a wholesome in there, or is I it did. just taking a while to update? Okay. Let's update. Oh, I see kills on mine. I must be behind. Yeah. The it protesters are long to interfere with Oops. your ability to work. They, they are oh. all sentenced uh, to five uh, years in prison. That was story two. Yeah. 
<laughs> so I let's go. Okay with this one and oh my god. Wait, oh, that, that was story two? Support. That was story two, so let's switch to story. Larry Flint is forever in your debt. Uh, hold on. Yeah, what the fuck? I see a problem here. Uh, story one. I was okay. at story one. Yeah. Hey, Alan. Hey, Alan. Hi, Alan. Uh, Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm at story two. Okay, hold on. I'm also on story two. Oh, okay. Never mind. For some reason, it was just loading the wrong one. All right. Story two. Okay, story two. Your story. name is Milton. You are at the opera with your wife. Hmm. Okay. During the intermission, you head to the bathroom. You are urinating at the urinal when the man next to you leans over and says, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hey buddy, which social network is the best one to be on? <laughs> the man yells racist and stabs you with a knife. Whoa! Ah, racist! <laughs> What's the social network? Oh, this AI is the best. Yeah, what in the hell? Me, we, or Gab? Ah, racist. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just said Christian date. Christian Mingo. Me we. Okay. We're Gab. not dead though. We just gonna stay up. Yeah, we just. Mewe is a great name for a social network, actually. <laughs> Maybe we me. <laughs> me we. FarmersOnly.com, is that like a dating site? Yeah, that's a real Do one. You learn oh, uh, the hard <laughs> way to never speak when at the urinal. Even when <laughs> being spoken to. There's a whole dating site just for clowns? I believe it. Oh my god. You learn the hard way to never speak when at the urinal, even when being spoken to. Hmm. Uh, I'll say... Uh... You bandage... Yourself... And... Uh... Go... Sit back down... Mm. <laughs> next to... <laughs> <laughs> down next to... <laughs> Your wife. Your wife's like, how is the bathroom? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm bleeding. Uh, I'm bleeding from my chest. You know you should say something, but she looks so happy and you don't want to ruin her night. The movie ends and on the way out, you take a survey. Mm. Okay. The movie ends? They play the movie in the middle of the opera? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We think it's a movie. Maybe the movie was Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. Hey, at least, yeah, we don't want to spoil it first. This is like mm -hmm. date night. I don't want my wife to be upset that I got stabbed at a urinal. <laughs> okay, the survey is about getting stabbed in a bathroom. <laughs> Were you stabbed tonight? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You give the experience... A low rating. <laughs> Zero stars, yeah. So you want to talk to me about the opera movie? No, no, no. We want to talk to you about your time in the bathroom. This survey is silly and pointless. <laughs> night, you suddenly feel a sharp pain in your arm. Oh, no. You ignore it and the pain subsides. Oh, okay. The next day you wake up and go to the bathroom. Looking at your forearm in the mirror, you see a word written on it in felt tip marker watch. Whoa, what oh. in the world? Ugh. I'm going to say, okay. You. We're being like stalked or something. Yeah, what the? This is like that movie Watcher in the Woods. I'm going to say you realize you have been cursed by the phantom of the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> 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 the phantom <laughs> of the bathroom is here. <laughs> <laughs>
where I go poo. <laughs> also, yeah. You run to a mirror and see that your reflection is gone. Oh, no. I'm trapped in the mirror world. You yell. Interesting. The police investigate oh. but find no trace of you. What? However, your wife continues to search oh. for you and sets up a website called findmiltonjefferson.com oh. and posts your picture on it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god! Findmiltonjefferson.com. Find wow. Wow. Not, not a site. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, is this a real site? Yeah. <laughs> she spent all of your life savings to get a Wix site set up. <laughs> that just has your picture and the phone number on it. <laughs> it's the wrong phone number. <laughs> we have more. Uh, okay. Uh, you realize that you are able to uh, communicate through the the. Uh, Communicate to the real world uh, through the website, but you can only use uh, animated GIFs. Oh. So basically, you're like a 13 year old. Yeah. A GIF says a thousand words. Mm hmm. First you post a file of a cat, then you try to warn people that the Phantom of the Opera is planning on killing again. You post a video of the Phantom killing the Lacqua and then escaping into the night, but the file gets corrupted. Oh, oh damn it. Damn! We I like the video. <laughs> While saying, well, on its way to saying the file gets corrupted, the speech was corrupted. Yeah. De La Croix. Mm hmm De La Croix. We could have stopped another murder if it wasn't for the shitty website. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, wife. Couldn't you have sprung a little bit more for Squarespace? Yeah. Beer world only. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. Um, let's see. The. Uh, I got something. Okay. Okay. It's GeoCities. Yeah. <laughs> the Phantom buys your URL and turns, <laughs> turns into the Cat Lovers Forum. That's that would be funny if somebody bought your for like you know like find somebody you know Milton Jefferson and made it like a commercial website. Yeah. Oh, uh, that guy! I never found him. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. say the the phantom of the bathroom appears behind you. He tells you to follow him to his lair. Oh, Ooh. okay. Yep. You have a gut feeling that this isn't a good idea, but you follow him anyway. Okay. He takes you deeper and deeper into the mirror world until you are in a bizarre version of the real world. Buildings are backwards, words are spelled backwards, and even your reflection is backwards. Strange. Oh, a reflection is backwards. That means it's forwards. Oh, here we go. Jerry Seinfeld, actor and stand-up comedian. No, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you got it, or you even see? Oh, you got it, Tony. Yeah. No, no. If you have something, I. No, nah, I don't got something. I was just gonna say. Okay. You see Jerry Seinfeld. Okay. Uh. Let's see. You see Jerry Seinfeld. Why are all these words spelled backwards? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, all of Jerry Seinfeld's jokes are backwards. He gives the punchline right off the bat. In the, in the <laughs> mirror world. What's the deal with mirror worlds? Everything's backwards, but to us, it's forwards. So are we the mirror world or is they the mirror world? How can you tell? <laughs> And where is all the prescription medication, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Okay, you see Jerry Seinfeld in the mirror world. He is uh, he is getting cars and a big cup of coffee with other comedians. Oh. Who are these people, he screams. Yeah. Is it like a rearview mirror? Yeah. But they're driving him. 
Yeah. Everything is backwards. Everything. Netflix comes and gets you out of the mirror world. Whoa! You can't do anything except watch Netflix. You watch Stranger Things, Westworld, and every stand-up special ever made. Okay. You watch Nacho Libre, Sephira, mm. and every other movie that has ever had a sequel or a prequel. Did Nacho Libre have a sequel or a prequel? I don't know. No, we don't watch standalone movies. That's the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow, you uh, should be the A. Yeah, Westworld is on HBO. This, yeah, this is... Um, it's interesting I mean, that it mentioned that. Stranger Things, though. Yeah, I was like, ah, yeah, all okay. the upside down. Yeah, yeah, doubt that. I'm gonna say you find out that the Phantom is the CEO of Netflix. <laughs> of course. The Netflix logo appears on your screen. Oh, you can't do anything mm. to stop him. You and everyone else are his slaves. What? Uh, okay. You try to communicate uh, with your wife. Hold on a through, second. All right. Through uh, her recommended movies uh, yeah. what, that's what they that's what they call subscribers internally as slaves yeah uh <laughs> what's a movie that's like trapped trapped movie like uh the one with the the clown that tries to, to capture everyone uh you you pick the cube. Oh uh, yeah, you pick cube. the cube. Is that uh, with Jennifer Lopez? Uh oh. Well, I accidentally hit on her, so we'll see what happens. Oh no, it wasn't. A foreign film in another language, and I'm not your game. A romance movie. When the logo appears on your screen, your wife realizes what has happened. She visits the Netflix headquarters it and plays the evil demon. Your reflection and freedom are restored to you. Oh my oh. god! Oh my god, that happened eight minutes early. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good job, uh -huh. wifey. Wowie. So anticlimactic. All it took was showing her the cube and her recommended. She goes, I know exactly what this means. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's like, Netflix is run by demons, and my husband is trapped in the beer world. Uh, say no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Done. Okay, good. Now let's go back to the opera and watch yeah. that movie. Uh, should we wait for Tony to come back? Yeah. I guess. I don't want him to miss anything here. Yeah. He could be gone for a long time. Yeah. Okay, we'll just go on. You, your wife... Uh, takes over Netflix. Uh, she doesn't want to, but they have. Uh, that's the policy. Nah, I don't know. Your wife takes over Netflix. I was gonna say there was some like Highlander clause, <laughs> but. <laughs> you enjoy your days off. Oh, okay. Yeah, our wife's bringing in the big bucks, so. Milton gets to watch more operas. This one's like, really? Uh, when Tony comes back, he'll do his prom. Yeah. Because uh, that is just like a case closed. Yeah, uh, honestly, <laughs> the, our wife really wrapped it all up there. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, a little bit of credit can go to Milton for picking uh, the two movies that really put it all together. I mean, <laughs> how good is our uh, our marriage if like, all we had to do was pick two movies in a recommended queue for her to get everything. <laughs> it's got to be pretty good if we're willing to sit through a stab wound. Just yeah. not to upset her. Exactly. See? <laughs> My tuxedo's all bloody. The board meetings are very bloody. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, I, I really don't want to keep on with this. Uh, I got another prompt, I guess. So tell me this to come back. Uh, you got anything for an epilogue? Uh, you, uh, uh, decide to, uh, take your wife out to the opera again. Oh, yeah. Uh, this time, well, let's just see what happens. Taking our wife out again. The same thing happens again. You are such a dick. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my oh. god. The same thing, the, literally the same thing happens. I get stabbed and sent to the mirror world and then my wife has to kill the Netflix demon? Exactly the same thing. Uh, it's should, like a sequel. I, why did I tr try to test fate? Alright, alright, we'll switch to a new story. Okay. Story three. Mm -hmm. Groundhog Day again, yeah. Uh, Alright, this is just the uh, synopsis for the Broken Arrow movie you were talking about, Jim. Okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you are Terry Carmichael, a female park ranger that has just watched a plane crash in the desert. Uh, let's see here. Uh, remember who played? Who is the female lead in that movie? I don't remember, but someone famous. You meet up with Riley Hale, a pilot who survived the crash. Uh, Riley tells you his co-pilot, Vic Deacons, has gone rogue and stolen two nuclear missiles. Uh, Vic has teamed up with a terrorist group and is demanding a ransom. If the U.S. government doesn't pay the ransom, Vic will detonate the nukes in a major American city. And Vic is played by... Uh, what's his John face? Travolta. John, Travolta, John Travolta, yeah. As you do. Let's fix, uh... Oh, it's Christian Slater and John Travolta. Yeah. They don't even mention the other girl's name. Yeah. This sounds like Samantha. the movie. Yeah. Samantha Mathis. That doesn't sound Never familiar. Heard. Let's see what happens. You need to stop Vic. But the government has a strict no-negotiation policy with terrorists. <laughs> you need to find a way to stop Vic and prevent him from launching the missiles without breaking government protocol. God, that, this damn bureaucracy! Oh, I forgot the third. Is Tony There's... dead? We don't know. Anything could be possible. No idea. He lives in a rough neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Can you stop there? Uh, Riley suggests <laughs> that you bend the rules just this once. <laughs> that is great, allergy. Oh my god, yeah. That might be. <laughs> Who knows? A agree to help Vic and prevent the nukes from being used without authorization. B. Remain loyal to the government and the law and find a way to stop Vic that follows protocol. You decide to remain loyal to the rules of your government, no matter what the situation. Wow, this park it ranger is a real stickler for the rules. Why give us the multiple choice if it's going to decide for us? Yeah. Uh... Uh, I'm going to say you decide to break the rules just a little bit yeah we don't uh fill out all the fields on this paperwork time to be a loose cannon yeah you are terry carcier a female park ranger that has just watched the plane crash in the desert you meet up with riley hale a pilot who survived the crash riley tells you that his co-pilot vic deacons 
has gone rogue and stolen two nuclear missiles. All right, all right. Let's try that again. Uh, I'll say, I'll change that a little bit. Riley uh, disagrees and breaks the rules anyway. Yeah. Uh, you are guilty by association. You need to find a Rambo type to help you. I'm a hoping Riley is that incident, type. You are sentenced to life in prison for <laughs> assisting a known terrorist and violating government protocol. You serve your sentence you. without complaint. Oh my god! Hey, tell me what was up. Oh, my parents wanting tech support at like the worst time. Oh, uh, okay. For their prayer meeting. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, we uh, started a new story. Go. Okay. Mm -hmm. The last one, our wife saved us, like, immediately. Yeah. Mm. We put two yeah. movies in her recommended Netflix queue from the Mirror World, and she instantly knew what we were talking about and went and oh, killed, wow. killed the Netflix CEO and saved us from the Mirror Dimension. Okay, let me and now, uh, read this. And now this is uh, Broken Arrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're doing Broken Arrow. We're the, park, the female park ranger from Broken Arrow. Oh, okay. Uh, and that we seem to be a real stickler for the rules. Maybe this could turn um, into A-Team? Possibly. I'm going to say... The president pardons you. Hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah. He tells you to... Retrieve the stolen... Nuclear weapons. Yes. Um... Whoa, okay. <laughs> but you don't have to obey any rules this time. <laughs> what president would give that? <laughs> the president pardons you and tells you to retrieve the stolen nuclear oh, weapons, but you don't have to obey any rules this time. Uh, I'll say you don't have to. License to kill. Come on, AI. I want this to go through so badly. Oh, here we go. B.A. Baracus. Maybe just for like by any they means. find a way to break back oh. into the terrorist camp without being noticed and retrieve the nukes without breaking any protocol. B. Find a way to sneak into the terrorist camp and kill them all, solving the problem once and for all, even if it means bending or breaking rules to do it. Yes, of course, B. B. <laughs> B. Yeah, let's just say you choose B. But I feel like when we've done that in the past and say just choose B, like it It'll just doesn't give us more respond. options, maybe. Yeah, but let's see. That's part of the fun. I'll just copy paste the what B actually is. Oh, oh copy pasta. You choose B. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you choose B. Oh. Oh, you just redid it. Yeah. Uh, you find a way to sneak in and blah, 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 blah. You know. Yeah. Now watch, it'll be like the AI doesn't know what to say. But you said it, AI. Yeah, you're the one who came up with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The American people <gasps> hail you as a hero for saving the lives of millions. Your career soars, and you eventually become the first female president of yes! the United States. The end. You mm. decide to remain loyal to the rules of your government, no matter what the situation. Riley disagrees and breaks the rules anyway. I think it's time to add a new uh, amendment to the Constitution. You can break the rules, but only when nukes are stolen from, yeah. the, from, uh, from the U.S. government. I like it. Yeah. Uh, you amend a constitution. That hacky Riley. To allow rule breaking, but only when terrorists 
uh, steal nuclear weapons. And that is what democracy means. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Executive order. Yeah. The terrorists launch a missile at Washington. You try oh, to shit. detect the missile no! and shoot it down. No! You are killed in the blast. Um, <laughs> Best just use oh yeah. So uh Kool-Aid man appears. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna I got I got something though. I'll have the okay. Kool-Aid man. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. President just got killed by a nuclear device. Oh no. No. Oh god, no. Why did I come in? Sorry right for your loss. Ooh, I, this is the wake. I'm so sorry. Mm. I, I can't see what's on the other side of the wall. I don't got x-ray vision. Yeah, I'm they, just a simple Kool-Aid man. They just give me the address. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to say um, everyone thinks you are dead, but you are just hiding in the bunker under the White House along with the Kool-Aid man until you can figure things out. I'm surprised they never made a Kool-Aid Man like cartoon series. I would have watched it. Yeah. And for all or the, the Kool-Aid Man that. story about an angry young boy who keeps breaking through walls. The terrorists take advantage of the fact that America thinks you're dead and completely overrun Canada. Soon, they march into America demanding that you step down and turn over the country to them. You have no choice but to capitulate to their demands. Oh, female president. Did Kool Aid bring us back to life? <laughs> oh, wait. Everything's dude. Oh, you just hiding in the bunker. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, so America thinks we're dead. So we had yeah, like our, our stand in got killed. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. We're like, like in uh, uh, Phantom Menace. Or, uh, uh, then Kim Jong, Kim Jong Il like walks around with a bunch of lookalikes when he was alive. Kim Jong Un probably does the same thing. Oh. Stunt cock, yeah. <laughs> all right, so I, against all odds, we have to <sighs> say, okay, terrorist, what's what's going on? Your body double died, yeah. Okay, you give in to the terrorists. demands but on the condition that you are allowed to remain president okay interesting <laughs> can i still make up rules they're like oh, we don't give a fuck yeah, 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 yeah. you were brought what before the terrorist leader for a skype conference <laughs> he is a fat bearded man with wild eyes and an assault rifle in his hands you Sounds have about no right. choice but to capitulate or he will launch a barrage of missiles at your country, ending your regime and your life. He demands that you step down. Damn it. Mm. Mm. That's That was our one demand is to stay in power. Um, Let's see. I'm going to say you decide to break the rules and call him ugly. <laughs> oh. Step down then, yeah. What's well, a nuclear, second nuclear weapon too? Yeah, yeah, exactly. big deal. Yeah, no big deal. Nuclear schmooklear, that's what You're I say. That disgusting liar who couldn't oh. get laid in a whorehouse filled with corpses. What? Your mother was a whore who gave you up for crack money. Your father is Bill Cosby, <laughs> and you like to molest oh. little kids. Now let me talk to your leader. The terrorist leader cuts the connection without saying anything. That's great. Yeah. That is a. Uh... We're like, man, all that pent up rage from years of obeying the yeah. rules, and we just fucking. Wow. So uh, the AI can't tell jokes, but it's gotten it can bust balls. Yeah. That's really insulting. Roastmaster. Yeah. But seriously, yeah, uh, the ter this terrorist leader's a good sport. Give him, uh, yeah. give him a round of applause, everybody. Uh, you. Uh, He's like, what? The connection's bad. What? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? What'd you say? Uh, I'm not crying. What, what? I didn't hear you. 
A <laughs> whorehouse filled with corpses. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Your father is Bill Cosby and you like to molest little kids. Oh my god. Uh, you get, uh, your, uh, who would sit? Your, uh, you get a call from the Department of Defense. Uh, uh, what's a, a hundred thousand missiles have been launched at the White House. Have <laughs> been launched directly at the White House. Peter kind of ignored the Kool-Aid man. Yeah. Kool-Aid man just kind of... You kinda... run to the bomb shelter, yeah. but you are not fast enough. The missiles hit their targets and incinerate you, along with everything else in a 15-mile radius. The terrorists have won. Or so they think! Yeah. That was just another body double! Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna put. Everyone thinks you died. It's Chekhov's Kool-Aid Check man. Check Kool -Aid. Yeah, I think the, we're not done with the Kool-Aid man. No. Nah. He still has eight minutes, yeah. <laughs> What if the Kool-Aid man comes back in the story unprompted and the AI is just like, you know what? Oh my god, that would be... <laughs> truly, it has become self-aware. Yeah. AI, if you could hear us through the ether right now, please bring the Kool-Aid man back. Oh, mighty AI. Our future overlord. Please! You should shut down Skynet then, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say everyone thinks you died, but you didn't. <laughs> uh, you demand the Kool-Aid man to steal a nuclear weapon and blow up the terrorists. Oh, okay. Mm. The end. Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 we got to try that again. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, wow. It really... Uh, Everybody thinks you died, but you didn't. But, uh, it was just, it was just another, uh, presidential body double. Mm -hmm. Uh, you demand the Kool-Aid man to infiltrate. Yeah. The terrorist regime. Yeah. Is he like a spy? He's like, yeah, I'm a terrorist too. <laughs> yeah. Oh he's, yeah. He's he's wearing uh dark sunglasses, so we gotta believe him. Come on, please, please. Come on. He agrees. All the while drinking a red liquid from a oh, large that's glass cannibalism. pitcher. Yeah. The terrorist leader is a funny looking man who wears colorful clothes and has a scraggly black beard. He is playing cards with the vice leader when the Kool-Aid man walks in. Wow, this is great. The Kool-Aid man is going to save us. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to say the Kool-Aid man <laughs> heavily insults the vice leader. Oh, uh, mm. he, he wants to become number two. He gives him a right good roasting. Mm -hmm. oh, right. I, feel like AI, I don't know if the AI knows British. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'll say he gives him a... The roast of a I lifetime. Say? He roasts him. Yeah. So the AI might take that literally. Yeah, yeah I don't want to <laughs> think like he just fries him. Pulls out a flamethrower. Ro yeah. Rotisserie vice leader. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to say the Kool-Aid man... Uh, verbally, yeah. Verbally insults the vice leader mm. by saying dot dot dot. Okay. Okay. Excellent. It seems to work. I want to hear yeah, one. Hey, did you know that your last name, Bin Laden, means has no balls in Arabic? Oh. 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 The vice leader fires a surface to a missile at an unarmed American jet Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Well, it, 
we know that the AI can come up with insults now. This is good information to have. Guys, tomorrow's prompt, I want to do a roast. Yeah. Yeah, we should. <laughs> you get word the... Uh, oh, I gotta track a kill. Sorry. Bye, Kool-Aid man. Oh, is the Kool-Aid man dead? Oh, Did you I... shoot? He shot him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you get word... I mean, maybe... The bullets might bounce off glass. Yeah, <laughs> Kool-Aid man. He's uh, made out of Pyrex. Has been Pyrex. killed. Don't put him in the microwave. In action. You uh, call up the terrorist leader and uh, insult him with the ultimate roast. Yeah. <laughs> he died for our sins, yeah. He died for our sins. Hey, Bin Laden, did you know that Ben means without in Arabic? Oh! And Laden means testicles in Arabic? You laugh at your own joke. The terrorist leader explodes in a fit of anger. Oh my god! All right. We did it with the power of insults! He got so angry, he blew up. Wow. Alright, that's another kill. Monster kill. Uh, <laughs> it's really just the same joke we made already, though. Yeah. Well, it's we stole. Similar, we stole. Similar. His yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say you award yourself the National Medal of Freedom. He's like, I don't. Not, I'm not even Bin Laden. That guy died years ago. <laughs> I'm different. <laughs> I'm different. You try to reward yourself and quickly learn that you should not try to reward yourself. Oh. You quickly oh learn that my it's best God! To reward others for their hard work. Ooh. The terrorists take advantage of your poor judgment and brutally murder you. Oh my God! Wow. We've been murdered like four or five times in the story. Yeah. Okay, I got something. All right. Do they murder us with insults? <laughs> yeah. The ul yeah the ultimate rebuttal. Mm hmm. We put the butt in rebuttal. Damn, brutally murdered, too. I know, not gently murdered. That's <laughs> what I like. I'm going to say, on your grave, reads the ultimate insult towards yes. the terrorist who killed you. Yes. Uh, it yeah. reads, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, we had it stored away. On your grave reads the ultimate insult towards the terrorists who killed you. It reads, Come on. You got this. You got this. Come on, baby. President Nibot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Well, that is a pretty. Uh, uh, he has a butt. Knees for a butt. That's a pretty good uh, insult, in my opinion. They do blood eagle torture on you. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. That sounds terrible. What? It, yeah, that's I, that's a reference to something. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. Well, uh, tell your step uh, step presidents, your step female park rangers, your step <laughs> opera goers. Oh yeah, phantom of the bathroom. Yeah, your step phantoms. <laughs> yeah, and uh, your step naughty bakers. <laughs> uh, follow and then step naughty bakers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see you tomorrow at eight. Bye, Peace. everybody! Knee butt for 2020, yeah!